Well, I, I wrote catalog copy, but my principal job was to select films to be released, get them, and prepare them technically uh, so they could be put out. When the, the technical preparation, we had people who would do that, but I would decide how it would be done. And I upgraded equipment, you know. I saw that Kodak Model A camera and I thought that was silly and we got a Mitchell camera uh, to put on the, on the projector lathe bed instead. And uh, we got a 35 millimeter step register printer so that when really important films came in, we could make 35 millimeter backup. Uh, and, you know, a, a number of things like that. But uh, my, uh, my, I was vice president in charge of acquisitions, I think was my title. Uh, and that's basically what I, what I did. Uh, and, you know, I had a much broader knowledge of film than most of the people who were working there. I started to say that Easton really never trusted anybody outside the Midwest. Uh, when, when Bonine stopped wanting to process our film, they found, you know, labs in Milwaukee and labs in, in uh, oh, where was MPE? It was in Tennessee somewhere. Yeah. Uh, they, they, were, they were using that and they wouldn't think of going to a Hollywood or a New York right. laboratory for their work. Um, and pretty much all the stuff they did was sourced out of Midwestern suppliers and they hired pretty much all Midwestern people. So they were in, you know, foreign films. At that time, foreign films were an important part of the American market, but they never got to Davenport, Iowa. So, <laughs> uh, so you know, they, they, they didn't know anything there about German films or Russian films or Italian or French films. So I was able to broaden their, uh, their grasp quite considerably.